All right, guys, uh, Tim and I are here with, we got our hands on an early copy of Opening Moves in the Fantasy Flight booth, and uh, we can't wait to open it. Uh, opening Moves. It's super fun. You get it? It's kind of a joke, almost. <laughs> opening Moves, and we can't wait to but open. Uh, we did already take the plastic off, but I haven't seen the cards. I did see an NBN Agenda, which I think is in here at the booth. Yeah, which uh, is, in the case. Which is just beautiful. It is great. Um, all right, <clears throat> so here's the cards. I also have an insert. I'm going to start with the insert because it may be a little, maybe the most boring part to most people. A press release from Wayland and an HB for immediate release. Man, this is sweet. So we have uh, Rogue Viroid Murders Employee is the headline of the Wayland press release. And for immediate release in HB, Terrorist Attack Strata, Viroid Unfairly Blamed for Murder. Uh, so <laughs> yes. huge flavor here. Uh, I will read that, but I'm not going to read it to you guys uh, unless you really want me to. Which you can't tell me because I'm recording probably this. Probably so won't do it anyway. All right, so Tim, we're starting it off. We got a frame job, which I think has been spoiled. Essentially. Yeah, it's been spoiled. Uh, one cost event. It's a double event. This is a new type of event that generally costs two actions. One to play it <laughs> and an additional. <laughs> I don't know that yet. I don't know if that's the thing. It is the thing. <laughs> uh, so it costs two actions to play. Forfeit an agenda. If you do, give the corp one bad publicity. Uh, two influence. Two in influence. As well. It's an interesting card. <clears throat> I think... We need to see more stuff that works out bad publicity aside from the recurring credit, yep. but it has potential. This yep. is going to be, I think this will be a card later on. It's a thing. Uh, how about Pawn? We've, Pawn, we've, we've seen, seen already as well. Coast Pawn, outermost piece of ice protecting a central server. It costs a click to do that. It's a zero cost program, zero MU. It's just a Pawn. Uh, whenever you make a successful run, move Pawn to the piece of ice directly after the current ice hosting Pawn, if able. Otherwise, trash Pawn instead and install a case of program from your grip or heap and all costs. So once the pawn moves all the way down the stack, you can install from your grip or heap for free a case of program. It's not, not bad. It's really nice. Actually, you, it's not for free. Pawn and install a case of program, right? Well, yeah, but you install it. Uh, you got to pay the costs? Usually they say paying the costs. I don't <laughs> we, know. We don't oh, know. Ignoring all costs. Ignoring all costs. Boom. Done. Read have, the cards. Have to keep reading. All right, moving mm -hmm. on to Rook. I love the way this looks. It's beautiful. Case of program, two costs, one MU. It costs an action to host it on a piece of ice, not hosting a case of. If already hosted, Rook can be hosted only on ice, protecting the server or an ice in the same position. Nice. Counting from the innermost so spot. So it can just move. Protecting another server. The res cost of each piece of ice protecting the server is increased by two. By two, not one like I had remembered. This is increased by two. The new identity increased by oh, one. one. Cut plus three to all ice. And then there's... Uh, well, plus two for the first piece of ice. Plus two for all ice. It's scary. It's good. It's not bad. Hostage. Now, this card is ridiculous. It's I'm super excited about this Criminal one. double event. Tim, what is it? What it's does a, it do? It's a one cost. It's uh, as an additional cost, you spin a click. Uh, search your stack for a connection. Reveal it and add it to your grip. You may install that connection, paying its install cost to shuffle your stack. Hello, wow. Katie Jones. Wow. Hello, Mr. Lee. Taking a hostage. Katie and Lee. It's so good. Well, how about the Gorman Drip 6 V1? Version 1. V1. That's a virus. I want to read it. Uh, okay. One cost, one MU. Gorman Drip V1. It is a criminal virus. Whenever the corpse spins a click to draw one card or gain one credit, not through a card ability, place one virus counter on it, discard, or spin an action and trash it to gain one for each virus counter on it. It's, it's a drip not, virus. It's not bad. Yeah, that makes so much sense. Now, like, I don't think this is going to be as good in an Anarch deck on a lot of viruses because it's going to get cleared anyway. I think it's going to be one of those things that a criminal player will play it down and they're just going to wait. It's like compromised employees and this. It's like, it's like, are you really going to purge it? I mean, maybe eventually. You're not going to purge it. Maybe. And you're going to gain credit. You can't not gain credits. You can't not draw cards. I mean, you can as the corp sometimes. But There's a lot, but you can't not gain credits. It's going to It's going to be good. Lockpick. Hardware for shapers. <clears throat> one cost. Stealth. One recurring credit for using decoders. So this does not work with dagger. But it's solid. I mean, this is shaper, shaper shaping up to be exactly what ah. this is. Ah. <laughs> I'm going to be efficient. Three influence as well. Hey, re I love me. this. Card. What is this card? Then? Uh, one cost. The art on this is so good. One cost, one MU. Uh, false echo. It's two influence shaper card. Whenever you pass a piece of unresed ice, you may trash false echo. If you do, the corp must res that ice or add it to HQ. Criminal gonna splash this with inside job? I, I don't know. Maybe. Is, is bypassing, passing and bypassing? passing and bypassing are different things? Are they? they must be. They must be. They both say pass. I don't know. Maybe pass a piece of hard pass. ice. Hard, hard pass that ice. <laughs> um, I love that. I, I, I love it a lot. I and the art's that. phenomenal. That's cool. All right. All second. What's up next? Motivation. We've got uh, the scrounger on the front there. Exile? Exile. 
Yeah, I so, know him as the scrounger. So it's a zero cost resource. It's motivation. Uh, one influence. When your turn begins, you can look at the top card of your stack. That's cool. It's not bad. It's just a resource. That, that, I mean, would at, you pay zero for that? I would. Probably. Yeah. At, at worst, I'm just going to sell it to the pawn shop for three money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Sell your motivation to the pawn shop. Like many fine Americans. Okay. <laughs> John Masanori. Two cost connection. No influence because it's neutral. First time you make a successful run each turn, draw a card. First time you make an successful run, take a tag. This is a guy right it's here. It's a dude. This is a guy. That's a thing. That is a thing. Wow. Successful run for a, for a card? It's a thing. This works in so many decks. Wow. <laughs> that is really cool. Mm -hmm. I love that yep. card. I think that was All right, getting up to the cool things. Uh, Vitruvius. Project Ares. It's four advancement, two point agenda for HB. Uh, whenever you score Project Ares, the runner trashes one of his or her installed cards for each advancement token on Project Ares over four. If the runner trashes at least one card, take one bad publicity. Wow. It's nuts. Wow. I advance this five times, you have to trash a card. Wow, yeah, that's great. But you get a bad pub. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But if you get this to like six or seven, this can blow up. Yeah. I mean, it'll, it'll blow up I mean, hard. but you also have to get it to six or seven. It's, it's a, I think it's a, a neat card. It's well balanced. It'll have things. Feels, feels good right now. <clears throat> we also have NEXT Bronze, also known as Next Bronze. It's a zero strength code gate for HB. Next Bronze has plus one strength for each res piece of ice of Next Ice. Whoa, so we have a network of ice essentially that's gonna buff itself. And it's in the run. It's an in the run code gate. Straight up in the run code gate, which is cool. I'm down. And if you have a bunch of next ice, this could be a five, six strength code well, gate. Well, it starts out at one because it triggers itself. It does trigger itself. So, I mean, not that that's going to make a difference for any code gate breaker right now. But uh, that's cool. But it's a thing. Yeah. Celebrity thing. give. Hey, read this because I, I saw it on display. I want this card. It's got a giraffe on it. I what know, else baby do you want? giraffe. It's super cute. <clears throat> okay, three cost. It's an operation double. Uh, as an additional cost, play it. You have to spin a click. Reel up to five cards in HQ to the runner. Gain two credits for each card revealed. I, is this the answer Jinteki's been looking for? It's so good. Is this what Jinteki's been looking for? I, I mean, gain ten credits? You don't care what they... What, show them a fetal and a couple snares and... Even like, if I show... If I have five cards in my hand, I show you four of them? What a card am I hiding? Like, yeah. That just tempts you to run. Yeah. And it's beautiful, and it could just be a pop-up window. So Jinteki, man. I don't have it. So and three influence, so it's not going to be seen in a lot of decks, I don't think. Himitsu Beiko. I like this card, too. Two cost barrier, two strength for Jinteki. You can spin a credit to add it to HQ, and that's an action, so you can do that in any window. And then subroutine in the run. Yep. So where does this card fit in the Jinteki? It so I, fits in there, man. I feel like it ends the run. I feel like first of all, it ends the run, which is a low strength barrier that ends the run. Jinteki says yes. It's Secondarily, we've been forever. they're running your hand, and you don't you want like you put it back in your hand, and then they have less odds of hitting. Uh, if I have three of them out, and it's like, oh, you, I have one agenda, like you can't score one. I'm gonna pay three. Yeah, put them all in. <laughs> and then next turn you're gonna reveal you're gonna reveal your hand and get it all back. I'm gonna um, show you my I'm at Character Marcos. assassination, a fantastic NBN agenda. Uh, four advancements for two points. This slots into most NBN decks in a, a slot kind of after uh, the your your standard three breaking news beal and Astro script. Uh, when you score it, trash one resource cannot be prevented. Cannot be prevented. So easy way for even non-tag decks to get to deal with Katie or to deal with Mr. Lee, uh, to deal with uh, the pawn, uh, not the pawn shop, but seems, the personal workshop. Seems really good. It's very good. I this don't very really good like this card as a, play, a runner. <laughs> I love it as a, someone who plays NBN. This card's awesome. Jackson Howard, an asset, zero cost, three to trash. Click to draw two cards, remove them from the game. To three cards from archives into R and D. Ah. Ah, this is so <laughs> stupidly good. It's what you've been waiting for. This is unbelievable. Man, noise is no more. Am I right? It's not anywhere near. If I have this in my hand, I'm keeping it for until you trash it. And click draft. to draw two is insane in NBN. It's not bad. We just want to get into our agendas and score them out. Woo! And finally, Evasion of Privacy. A uh, NBN double gray ops. Two cost. Trace two is successful via the runner's grip and trashy number of resources and or events from it to the amount by which your strength exceeded, then take a bad publicity. Look at your hand, trash any resources or events, and then take a bad pub. Seems not bad. I think NBN is really becoming the denial house, and uh, this is um, unbelievable. It's what you want. It's a cool little little card. Will I play it? <clears throat> I don't know. Probably not. Who knows? 
I, I'm, I'm digging this agenda as well. Geothermal fracking, not only a new card, but a commentary on the state of our uh, country currently. Uh, Tim, what, <laughs> it's, what is it's it? It's four advancements, two points. It's an agenda expansion for Whalen. You place two agenda counters on it when you score it, and then you can click and spin a counter to gain seven and take a bad pub. <laughs> Wayland, man. It's a thing. Wayland. <laughs> Wayland, man. They you got they got so much money, and it's probably to res giant ice like swarm. It's a five strength sentry, a destroyer. It's illicit. It's eight cost. When you res it, you immediately take a bad publicity. So they're gonna have so much bad publicity. It's gonna be insane. Swarm can be advanced and gains trash one program unless the learner plays three credits for each advancement token on it. It's a five strength sentry. Guys. Four influence, five strength sentry, trash a program. It fits right into certain Wayland. So you, like I immediately think you can. As a criminal, shut this down, and then they res it again. They take more bad pub. Yeah, it's worth noting. Yeah, I think. But I think this is great. Yep. I think this is a really good piece of ice. It's awesome. As I'm seeing this, the Anarch Breakers are looking less and less good to me. So might have to change some things up. Uh, zero cost operation purge virus counter Cyberdex trial. We've seen this card. Not flavor text. And uh, free trials expired. Upgrade to the full version. Um, this is a meta card. That's what it is. Plain and simple. And finally, uh, Grim, a fi another five strength century, four, five. When you res it, take a bad pub, trash your program. Straight up. Are you kidding? Straight up. This is a thing. This this is gonna find its way into a lot of decks. I agree. Including probably mine. It's five strength century, that's so hard to break. All right. I love this card. I love it. And look at the, the thing. Oh yeah. So, all right, oh, well, yeah. opening moves. Lobby bar. It's officially. It's here. It's great. So that's all the cards. It's it's good, no complaints. I mean, I, mean, I want to dive in and use it, but yeah. now I'm just like, I'm focused on the Netrunner -run tournament that's happening tomorrow, so I can't think about these cards yet. But after that tournament, but it's, I'll be deck building, it's so good. being a frenzy. Um, so thanks for catching this. Is our quick rundown of this pack. We'll probably do a more in-depth look at it whenever we get back from Gen Con. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll have more updates for you soon. See you soon.